Hey guys, in last week's video we talked about the new Mach 3 screen sets specifically for the CNC router and in today's video we're going to talk about one more option available which is for a CNC mill. Now for those of you who don't want to go through the hassle or trouble of building your own carousel ATC, there is an option for a mechanical rack and this screen was designed to use a rack on the left or the right or both the left and the right. Now some mills won't have enough space for four positions. You may only be able to use three positions. Uh, but you can use any number of these slots. You don't have to use all eight. Now the nice thing about this screen is it has macros for pick and place or actual slide in tool holders so you have that option as well the main screen is very similar to the carousel ATC uh, this screen set from Mike over at physics anonymous and I just kinda tweaked it and updated it to fit uh, my needs I've added the carbon fiber background here and changed some of the uh, features has a full range of probing features. Uh, these work really well. I've also added extensive help menu here to, to give you a brief description of what some of these DROs are used for and what some of these buttons do. So this will be helpful when doing probing and tool touch off etc so that's the probing tab um, it has these nice jog buttons on here so you can jog your machine without having to use the uh, virtual pendant but it is available as well by pressing tab we have a nice diagnostic screen What's nice about this uh, tab here is it allows you to run G-code as well as look at your inputs and outputs to kind of see what's going on. So that's a real nice feature to have. Down here you can see the tool that's currently in the spindle. Our next tab of course is our ATC tab. Um, the ATC macro for the mill rack works similar to the carousel ATC should you have a tool not located in the rack however you want to use it like a face mill or something that you don't want to store in the rack when an M6 calls for that specific tool and it's not located in the rack it would allow you to manually insert and remove that tool and continue on so you can keep some tools in the rack and some tools you can manually insert. We have a foot switch to let you manually insert and remove tools. We can manually open and close the drawbar. We have a stack light window here uh, virtually on the screen here and this also is connected to a Mach 3 brain that you can actually physically wire up a stack light. Over here we have our rack each one of these numbers represents the rack slot position, but it will also initiate a tool change. So if you press 2, it will do an M6 T26 and load the tool that's currently in that slot. Down here below, we have an MDI line so you can uh, manually move the machine. Up here, we have our tool in spindle. Also, we have this indicator here to let us know the tools released and clamped or our output is active in this case we're using output six over here we have our DROs we also have our feed rate this is our touch off feed rate our delay this is the delay uh, for the amount of time that we want to give the spindle to release and clamp the tool and whether or not we're using an AT sensor, ATC sensor to check to see if the tool was released or clamped, that would be input three. Our low air pressure sensor, 
this is input four so if we're using a inline air pressure sensor to make sure we have sufficient air for our tool change we can enable that by entering a one down here we have our jog buttons here and to set up our rack we just press our ATC setup and this brings us over to this screen and you can see all the different uh, parameters that we need to enter to set up our mill rack this is our clearance plane this is a position above the tools usually around a half inch so that we can clear our tools when moving from one to another our z-axis start position this should be well above our fixtures in any work that we're doing any vices etc so that if we traverse from one side of the rack to the other side of the rack uh, we won't hit anything our load plane this is the height in which we will slide into and out of the rack our x rack clearance plane uh, this is a position in front of the rack on the left side and in front of the rack on the right side in case we want to move from position 8 to 5 on this right hand side we need to be able to clear those tools uh, down here is our X negative and X positive tool change location this is a position where our tool is actually slid into the rack what position is there uh, for the negative and the positive so we'll jog over to that position as shown here press the set button this will go out and get the appropriate machine coordinates and update this DRO this works for all of these DROs these are all in machine coordinates so simply jogging to this correct position and pressing the set button will get the information and update that update that automatically and down here we have our positions for one two three and four just simply jog the tool into the slot position and press the set button it's pretty easy and straightforward to set up your rack and once you have that done you can start doing some tool changes our last tab is just a g-code tab just to give you a brief description of the g-code and m codes used by Mach 3 well all right guys that wraps up the video on the new graphical user interface for the Mach 3 mill rack of course custom work is available if you have specific needs that are not on the generic screen uh, you may have a rack that slides in and out or tilts up and down and you need specific inputs and outputs uh, shoot me an email and custom work is available guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on the subscribe button down here below they'll send you a link and if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always guys please feel free to ask questions make suggestions or leave comments thanks for watching the videos please subscribe and most importantly be safe